What's up, reader? I'm psyched that you're here to join me for yet another review inside Natty's Nook. If you're new here, be sure to go check out my first review plus my channel intro just to get a little bit of insight into what we're all about here. If you're not new here, but you have missed a couple of reviews in the past few weeks, weeks, go and catch up on them because I'm sure one of those might just become your new favorite novel. If you're not new here, you've watched all my reviews, you liked all of them a hundred times, you told everybody that you know, including your angry boss, about my, my channel, and, and you've subscribed at least 20 times. Okay, now I'm stalling. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the next look inside Natty's Neck. Today's book is called Squint by Chad Morris and Shelley Brown. This novel is a 4.3 star rating on Goodreads, or maybe a little bit less than that, and it's more towards a younger audience. But I think even if you're 50, 60, 70 years old, you can still read it too. So yes, it's not one of your, ch no, it's not one of your chart topping novels, but I think it's worth your time. So let's check this book out. So this book is centered around Flint, whose nickname is Squint because he's got a lot of eye problems. He's bullied by a lot of kids in middle school, and he really does have a tough time making friends because, as we see in this book, a lot of people just tend to judge a book by its cover, and Squint is definitely not what he appears to be. So, although he might not have the clearest vision, he does have an eye, no pun intended, for comics. He loves drawing, he loves making the storylines, and he likes making them different, so he's aiming to make his newest comic into one of the youngest winner comics, or whatever you call that, in this new competition. And he wants to become the youngest winner ever. And it's a good goal for him, knowing that he's got a pretty good eye for comics. So we actually get to see a little bit of the comic storyline, and in a different type of a font, we actually see what, what the comic is about. And I think, I'm pretty sure, it'll let you up to date on everything that's happening in the comic as well as just the book itself. Now this kid that's always bullied, always made fun of, he actually makes friends with a girl named Mikkel. Now Mikkel is the same grade as he is, but she's new, she seems to make friends, and she's kind of more tangled with the popular crowd. Now that being said, she is a little bit more reserved and she could be considered more of a follower even because she's not the mean type. But she does make friends with Squint, and she finds that maybe the popular crowd isn't always the best crowd. And this is what the big takeaway is. A lot of people in our real world think that being with the popular crowd is just, it's all around great. But you really have to look at the intentions behind every person and realize which one's more aligned with you. So Mikkel realizes that even though the popular crowd is popular and well liked, it might not be the best crowd for her. So we get to see this conflict arise as well as Mikkel being friends with Squint, creating a lot of different issues arising with the rest of the popular crowd. So the question I want you to impose in your mind when you read this book and as you venture into it, I want you to think about will Mikkel either choose to disregard Squint because of his looks or will she choose to get a deeper view inside those worn out eyes and maybe take a chance on someone that might not be your ideal pick. So this being said, I think this novel is pretty good for, like I said, a younger audience, but it's there's no language in it, so I feel like it just appeals to everybody. But I think the one thing I didn't like about this novel is that it didn't stress the important characters. To give you a bit of background, Squint is not your, is not your really well-rounded kid. He's got a home that's not as wealthy as some of his friends. He's got his grandparents for guardians because his mother is incapable of raising a child and his dad left at a very early age. So he's been with his grandparents for as long as he can remember. And Mikkel has got this great family life and this awesome, just awesome home life that Squint doesn't have. So we see characters like Squint's mom who tries to get in touch with Squint throughout the novel. We see her brought up a little bit, but I wish that they were brought up a little bit more because it might have diversified the pool and made it a little bit more appealing to read. Now, that being said, I do give this book a four-star rating, and that's pretty solid knowing that it was, it was good for a younger read, but I think if you added a little bit more, it would have turned it from good to great. So, 
as my closing statement, I want to recommend this book for younger readers that want a book with a totally different perspective. If you like this video, please click the like button below as well as the subscribe button to show that you want me to keep posting these videos. If you're interested in recommending a book, and I say this to anybody who might be on the fence or might not even want to recommend a book, I'm sure you've got a favorite. If it's not one that I've already reviewed, I might not even know about it. So at least send me an email and follow the instructions on the very, very end of the video just for a little bit of information and a couple of tips into recommending some of your favorite reads. Even if it might not be featured on the channel, at least suggest a book so that maybe later in time it could be featured. Maybe just not now. As well as doing that, please share my videos. I know that there are a couple lonely bookworms out there that aren't watching these videos that just want another really good novel. And I don't want to leave them unturned. So if you know anybody like that, or you know anybody that just doesn't really like to read, maybe it could turn their frown upside down. So share the videos with them and make sure they're informed because one of my favorite reads could become one of their favorite reads. Thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate your support and stay tuned for the next look inside the Nook.